You know, I had this team um, over at my house for Thanksgiving, and I felt like the first half I fed them way too much turkey because we were really stuck in second gear, and a lot of that had to do with uh, just too much one-on-one -on -one basketball and knocked ourselves out of rhythm offensively. I didn't think we did a very good job defensively. We were not rebounding the ball. And it was not a, a yelling screen at halftime. It was just to get back on rhythm, get back in sync halftime. And I felt like the group that started the second half really did a nice job of controlling tempo, controlling the rhythm. And they did it with their defense. They shared the ball. And it really got us playing well. And it was a great defensive game for us in the second half. A, a small, quick team to have those bigs out on the floor like Robo and, and Marvin and Big Jeff out there guarding those little guys. That's something we needed to work on. We were able to do it. And they did a good job the second half. Coming out of the gates there, was, was the offense sort of more structured to, uh, to shoot the long balls, or was it? Were you feeling more inclined to go? You know, our offense is never structured to, to shoot long balls. Quite frankly, you give guys a lot of freedom, and I just felt like uh, there was just too much one-on-one -on -one basketball, and that's where the long shots came. There's too many guys hunting shots as opposed to letting the game come to them. Because if you give the ball up in the system, it will find you. As you saw in the second half when they were starting to share it and everybody got looks, everybody got shots. They've got to learn how to play together like that all the time. And we've done that in spurts more so than not in, in, a, in a good way. Uh, but for whatever, whatever reason, uh, I didn't think we were very good offensively uh, in the first half. And I didn't think we were very good rebounding the ball, obviously, in the first half when we settled down in the second half. That last 13 minutes kind of redeemed you, though. It, uh, it, it seemed like you were a different team then. You know, I, I, even before then, I mean, we, we came out and did a nice job. They hit some tough shots to start the second half. But our goal in the game uh, was to keep them under 60, and we were able to accomplish that. Uh, our game and the goal in the game was to get 25 plus assists, and, and we didn't have 25, but I thought we shared the ball much better in the second half. We had played that way the entire game. We've gotten that accomplished as well. And then the last thing was uh, to be able defensively to get 10 plus times in the game where you could stop a team three straight possessions in a row, and we had 11 of those in the game. So uh, to be able to do that, keep a team under 60, we accomplished some things we wanted to do defensively, but, but the offensive end of it, I think it would really knock us out of whack in terms of our assist was the first half, where it was just too much one-on-one, -on -one, too much gunning, and then we settled down and played a lot better in the second half, particularly the last 13 minutes. Uh, did you set the 25 assists mark based off of what you accomplished last game, uh, getting 25 assists? Uh, you know, it's, it's last game, it's 35 in the exhibition game, it's 26 in the home opener. Uh, we only had eight over at, at Seattle because, again, or even over in Seattle without Robo, we went to too much one-on-one -on -one game and knocked ourselves out of rhythm. So if this team stays in rhythm with each other, we should have somewhere around that 20-plus assist in games, uh, particularly if we can, we can press and get out and get teams to turn it over and, and get out and run and do some things that way. Uh, they did a nice job of not turning it over in the, in the first half. Uh, we're a little bit more effective in the second half. That gives you an opportunity to get those assists. If you can get those, I think we averaged about 19 turnovers a game, and, and we weren't there in this game, but we're able to get out and get a little bit more easier things in transition in the second half. To, to some degree, when, when your guys were hoisting up those jumpers in the first half, uh, was, was that re related to the fact that they are good perimeter shooters and they're thinking, these things have got to start falling eventually? You know, I, I, I'm going to say no because um, there's a certain feel to the system that, that you saw at the last 13 minutes. And, and you saw uh, several possessions where several guys touched that ball, and it was just no hesitation. It was moved. And it almost becomes like dancing in a sense for those of you that can dance out there. But there's a couple of you with two left feet out there, but we won't mention any names, Jeff. But anyhow, if you think about the game in a sense that if it's your opportunity to score a shooting, it's your opportunity to pass, pass it. That wasn't the case in the first half. They were hoisting up quick looks. They wanted to get their point buckets, get the shot off, and it's not that. It's really uh, taking young people and teaching them how to give themselves up because eventually it will come back to you if everybody can understand that. And they were much better in the second half. We looked like we've looked at our other games in the second half. So lesson learned by them as well, too. Uh, yeah, one more thing. Would you have preferred to, that you guys would have gone inside earlier and, and more aggressively? I think um, uh, the two things I noticed also offensively was the fact that Robo had six wide open threes. He ends up with 24 points with six 
wide open threes. And the adjustment he made in his game, and we did it in the second half as well, it started pounding it inside a little bit more. We went to Jeff, went to Robo, tried to go to Coop there at the end. And keep in mind, uh, our biggest weapon inside had the boot on on the sideline, Isaiah Wade, which would have made a difference in that, the rebounding part of it, uh, and, and getting some more things done in the inside. So to settle down and have Robo go in there and score, uh, Jeff rebounded the ball extremely well. Uh, I thought that was a nice adjustment on Robo's part to do that. But at the same time, th this is a team that's going to, you know, we can really shoot it. We can play. I've always told them it might be shooting in four seconds, six seconds, eight seconds, 10 seconds, 12 seconds. Very, very seldom do you see a shot clock go down. But it has to be a rhythm open look, whether it's inside, outside, wherever. It has to be a rhythm shot. Otherwise, you can knock yourself out of rhythm by quick shooting the basketball, and just launching it up. That's where we were in the first half. I thought we settled down in the second half. More ball movement, more player movement. Yeah. How was your Thanksgiving, Coach Kent? You know, we had 39 people at my house, and everything went smooth. You know, they were in and out. Furniture was all moved back. I think it took us two and a half hours to eat, play charades, and move the furniture back. So it was a great Thanksgiving. Just wish I could have had my kids a little bit closer to me. They were in Portland, so I couldn't see them, unfortunately. Thank you. Go Cougs.